Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We are out here biking once again, and I am joined by my Zizzo Forte on this trip. This is my bike of choice. It's a folding bike, and I like it a lot. Today, we are headed to Bee Cave, Texas. So it's in Austin, I believe. And it's about 11 miles from me, so it shouldn't be too bad. The thing that makes this a little bit sketchy is that it's very hilly. So we're gonna see how the Zizzo Forte can handle big steep hills and see if I can make it all the way there without passing out. That's gonna be fun. If I do pass out, I hope you guys catch me. If not, it's fine. You guys are not liable. I have my own insurance. I think it's still activated. Anyways, let's get started. It should take me about two hours to get there. Um, like I said, I may not make it all the way because it is on hills and I got told last night it's best for electric bikes to go down there just because of how steep it is. So I'm kind of concerned but we'll see. Let's get started. So I'm feeling pretty good today because it started off at like 78. It's gonna get up to like 93, but that should be okay. As long as it doesn't touch above 95, I should be good. Uh, but just had my first uphill. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't too bad. I haven't biked in like a week. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a little bit out of shape, but I should be okay. Just gotta reactivate those glutes. You know what I'm saying? Ran into my first obstacle. Since sidewalk closed. I'm gonna try to go to the other side. Or maybe I'll just go around it. But I, I think I'm just gonna go to the other side and bike that. I almost just died right there. All right, so I'm thinking this way is a no-go. So I may try to find a different route because uh, the sidewalk is like destroyed on both sides. There's no way of me getting to the other side. Uh, so I'm going to try a, to take a different route. I saw another fellow biker go this way. So I'm going to follow him. Hopefully he doesn't notice. We're both bikers, so we both should be friends anyways. Okay, he doesn't notice me. Going straight uphill right now. It's not super bad. Just gotta take my time. Dang, this is steep. So that was pretty steep. Normal bike riding is like this. That was like this. That was about like that. But the bike did good. Handled it good. But I didn't handle it too good. I'll be fine. Need some water. I like this Camelback uh, water distributor because it's easy on the teeth. I just had to buy a cap. Good purchase. This one's gonna be super steep. Oh boy. Mm. 
looks like there's no way to get over. I'm pretty sure I can pop my tire easily over here. Like any bike with gears would have problems coming up here, up these hills. Um, I'm able to do it, uh, but that mixed with no, no sidewalks. I think I'm gonna have to pass. So I'm not finding any easy way to cross. So I'm just gonna explore. And I'm gonna show you guys different things in Austin. So it should still be fun. I like exploring anyways. Yeah. All right, let's just go on an adventure. All right, so this is the hill I came up. Let me show you how fast I can go down it. Zooming, baby. So I see a path up front with other bikers. So I'm just gonna be where they be, you know what I'm saying? I want to test my top speed so I found a nice stretch of road. I'm going to test my top speed going downhill, then on a flat surface, and then uphill. And we'll see what my speeds are. Let me download an app real quick. All right, this is the strip of road I'm gonna go down. Let's see what my top speed is. This is going downhill. Let's get it. As you can see here, looks like my top speed was 26.6. And that was about that much of a decline. So if I went like this much, it would probably have been way better. Let's see how it is on a flat surface. And then we'll do an incline and then we'll go eat. Uh, flat surface right here. Let's get it. Shift to three. Uh, let's go to five. There we go. So the first, my first top speed was 26 miles an hour. So that's pretty good. 26 miles, that's pretty good. Uh, going downhill. And then my going on flat surface, that speed was 23. So I'm impressed. That's really good actually. Uh, so now I'm at an incline. I'm getting tired, uh, but let's see what my max speed will be. I'm thinking probably, I'm gonna go all out. So I'm thinking 15, 15 miles per hour. And then this incline is about like that. So not too bad. It's not like this or this. It's just right there. So it should be, should be moderately chill and easy. All right, let's go.
Building the speed. All right, shift it to six. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. All right, I'm at seven. I am skipping. Oh, it's skipping. All right. All right. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh, it stinks. It's a dead armadillo. Oh, it smells so bad. Sorry that happened to you, buddy. I've only seen one walk one time. It was the goofiest thing ever. It was like those things in the ice age in the beginning that kind of look like armadillos. Whew. All right, I think we're far enough from the smells. All right, guys, the results are in and your boy got 19 miles per hour. I'm proud of that. I am proud of that. And you know what's crazy? I'm not even a real biker like that. I just started, so just imagine in like three months, when my calves are the size of that armadillo, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Actually, my glutes, what am I talking about? My glutes are that size. Um, but let's go grab something to eat. I think I'm gonna go to H-E-B and make me a wrap. Got the goods, let's go head over to the park now. I've just encountered my first folding bike. There's this dude riding a Brompton. I was trying to show you guys, but he didn't want to be on camera. When I went out to San Francisco, there was a lot of people with Bromptons. And uh, that seemed to be the dominant uh, floating bike over there uh, So that was interesting to see they're super expensive. I like my Zizo It's budget gets the job done and it's really good quality And I think the 20 inch wheels I don't think I would go lower than 20 inches Because this feels like the perfect wheel size for me I think any less it'd be too hard table of St. Austin the third and this actually over here was the very location that I changed my brake um, yeah I changed my brake pads over there because I live in an apartment but we got here uh, pretty soon I'm gonna get a front rack so I don't have to put my groceries right here I can put them in the front and then tie it down um, back here I'm gonna make a bag for that but let's eat and show you what I got we weren't ooh. Was wobbly we weren't able to go to exactly where i wanted to but that's fine because they're doing construction there's a lot of construction in austin right now because they're growing and they're getting bigger so probably in two years i'll be able to bike over there but today's meal consists of heb sushi the spicy california roll crazy Austin this their ATB sushi is all right but San Antonio those were busting this one's probably like a 7 out of 10 but the ATB one in San Antonio that was a 8 out of 10 All right, so I gotta head back to Mikasa because I think I over, overextended myself by going uphill, trying to get that top speed because I'm seeing a crescent moon in my eye, which means a migraine is coming. And I ain't trying to be out here with a migraine. So I'm gonna head back home, probably sleep it off and then go back out. Uh, but you know what? I think we're gonna end the video here. So thank you guys for joining me. Have a great day. I'm gonna get back on my bike.
ride. It was nice biking with you today. Ooh. Adios.